Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm sharing with you some baby boy nursery DIYs. My son's nursery theme is transportation, so we are doing a bunch of cute and easy DIYs for his room. So if you guys wanna see what I created, then please keep watching. All right, first up is our stoplight pillows. I got two sets of these black, simple uh, throw pillow covers, and then I got two red, two yellow, two green uh, pieces of felt from Michaels, as well as this round disc also from Michaels. It was like 99 cents. I'm just going to use it to trace a circle. It is about five and a half inches, so this will fit perfectly on the pillow here. So next I'm gonna take this iron-on adhesive. I first started out with this fabric cutter and I realized that the line was not crisp enough to my liking. So I ended up just using a pin and tracing around the little wood circle there and then cutting it out. So I did end up making two of these pillows. I love them so much. I saw comparable ones on Etsy for like $50 and this cost me about $9 to make two of them. So such a better deal if you make things yourself, if you're crafty, and even if you're not, these are super simple to do. They're not hard at all. All of these DIYs were super, super easy. They can look intimidating, but trust me guys, anybody can do this. It was so simple. All right, once we've got our felt circles cut out, I'm just gonna place them on the pillow cover just to get the placement right. So after that, I'm taking my adhesive. I cut them down to strips so they would fit on each circle. So basically all that you do is you cut your sheets, you iron it on the back initially, cut it out, take off the backing, and then iron it down to the pillow cover. I hope that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but you can see exactly what I did here. You can sew it if you prefer, but this was so sticky and it stuck so well, I didn't even need to sew it. So here's what it looks like when it's all stuffed. These are so adorable. All right, next up, these next two ones are super simple. I got these wood frames from Hobby Lobby. I got a pack of four. They're $2.29 each, but I think the pack of four was like $5 half off, so not too bad. And then I got two packs of these little transportation stickers from Hobby Lobby, also half off, as well as some paint. As you can see, I did mostly primary colors. So we will be using Mod Podge to seal it. So basically what you're gonna do is add about two to three coats of paint just to get it nice so no opaque. I made sure I got the outside, the inside rim and everything. Once they are dry, I'm gonna go ahead and seal them with the Mod Podge. And then after that, we'll just add our stickers. You can go back through and hot glue the stickers down if you'd like. They stayed pretty well. Maybe I'll go back through and add some hot glue later, but I didn't need to completely up to you. They are gonna go on a shelf, so it's not like they're gonna be played with. But these stickers were so cute. They fit the theme perfectly. Now I put these in his room. I don't have any pictures in them yet. I am still waiting on my maternity photos to come in so I can stick those in there. Um, but these are really, really adorable and a nice little touch to add. As you guys will see, I use the same primary color paint for all of my projects. It's just very cohesive. It's really satisfying my OCD here. I love everything to match perfectly, and it does. So this paint was from um, Walmart and Hobby Lobby. I will link everything that I can down below. All right, next up is really, really easy. I got these really large wood handles from Amazon. They are drawer pulls. I will be using that same paint and just going to paint them and that's it. I painted about two to three coats just to make sure it was opaque and that's it guys. Very easy, but it's a good way to tie in the colors to make everything look like it goes together seamlessly. I put them on his dresser as well as his changing table. You can take me high. I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile. All right, next up is this adorable little piggy bank. I did make one of these for my daughter as well. I got the glass block from Michaels. And as you can see, the little vinyl decal over there, my baby boy's name will be Caden. We were back and forth, back and forth on so many names, but this is what we decided on. We've always loved this name, so I hope you guys like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this on the block. I did not get it perfectly symmetrical. My K already touched down, so I kinda had to commit to it, but that's okay. I didn't wanna try to peel it off and ruin it, but this came out super cute. <laughs> All 
All right, last but not least is the mobile. This was so fun to make. I really enjoyed all of this. I got most of my supplies from Etsy, so I will link everything that I can down below. And we're gonna be using that same exact paint that we have been using on all of the projects. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint these little fire trucks, dump trucks, all that stuff. We're gonna go ahead and add two coats of paint. Let it dry completely before you move on to the next step. Without you You can take me high Feels like I can fly All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on the stop sign and the go sign. I'm taking these white stickers also from Hobby Lobby and just putting it on both sides. So we've got go on both sides of the green one and then stop on the stop sign. And my favorite one is of course the stoplight. I got two of these um, wood cutouts and now I'm gonna take this red, yellow, and green foam. I got it from Dollar Tree. Gonna cut little squares and just basically plop it on, wedge it between the two and hot glue it down. Super easy. You can also use construction paper or felt. I'm gonna hot glue the two pieces together and that is it. So now we're gonna start stringing on the felt balls. So you're just gonna thread your needle here. Just got some plain old white embroidery floss. The felt balls, like I said, came from Etsy. I got numerous colors, all within the same color scheme. So these are really easy to put on. I know it looks kind of difficult, but I was just trying to get the placement right, trying to get it nice and straight. So once you get it in there, just pull the needle through and thread it on, and that is it. Very, very easy to do. I've seen many baby mobiles on Etsy for hundreds of dollars. I saw one for maybe 75, but I think this cost me, with all the material, about $35 to make, maybe even less than that, because I already had some of the paint. So much better deal if you can make it yourself. just stringing on the balls. After I string on all the balls, I will attach all of the little wood pieces here. I made sure I tied it on there really well. Now we're gonna go ahead and space out our felt balls. I did varying sizes just to give it some dimension. And that is it. This was super simple. It did take me about an hour and a half to do all of this, but well worth it. I just love this so much. It came out so, so adorable. After you get everything strung on, you're just gonna hang it to your baby mobile itself. And that is it, guys. Here's what it looks like when it's hanging. I've got it hanging from the ceiling fan for now, just to show you guys up close what it looks like. This one is definitely my favorite project that I made. As you guys can see in the background there, you're getting a little sneak peek of his nursery. I will be doing a nursery reveal coming very soon. So stay tuned. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed my transportation DIYs for my baby boy's nursery. Everything came out so, so cute. Let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. I will be filming a nursery tour as well as a baby haul. So if you are interested in that, then please stay tuned. But if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. It seems like you like me too. Can't take it slow, make sure we do this right